this is a Hobby Optima Deluxe T70E. It's got two single beds, which means that you can have a more unusual design inside, which I'm now going to show you. So, what, let's walk straight in. We see we've got two single beds. We have a lounge, which incidentally you can actually make another bed here. It's um, sort of a large single, I would say. Maybe, maybe a, um, a double. Uh, depends on the, but that's the, that's, that's the width of it. I suppose you can get two in there if you're not too fat. And uh, coming right the way through, we have the bathroom. And because the bathroom's at the end, it means there's a lot more room for it. There is a shower, the size of which is the same as possibly what you have at home. Uh, the toilet as well is pro also probably what you have at home. Behind the toilet, we've got the wardrobe, which should be smaller than what you've got to have at home, but it's much larger than in many uh, vehicles. There's plenty of space as well in the bathroom for keeping all of your uh, smelly things and what have you. The uh, space um, is possible, I think, really because of the, the position of the beds. And under the beds, you've got access to an external garage. But the garage is nowhere near as large as you would have if it, the beds were higher and going widthwise in a, in, a, in a double bed. The kitchen itself is relatively standard uh, with other as with other hobby vehicles and and there is here a thin Dometic fridge which is probably more than sufficient and there's a there's some beer which I believe is an optional extra and let's have a look at the garage one there and on the other side we have a similar shape, although it's slightly smaller to make room for the the boiler which is to the left hand side. Then we have the, the gas cabinet and it's based on the Fiat Ducato which means that it's 233 centimeters wide.